Like, uh, like step web, uh, not here. <laughs> Give me a reason, and I'll pretend I'm in control. Just like the seasons, you're taking the time from me, boy. What's up, what's up, what's up, my lock loves? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, Hit that subscribe button so you can be part of Lock Love Crew. My crew is growing. I love you guys. I'm excited to bring you all my newest install. Yes, girl. I took the marker locks out. Y'all not new to this, okay? Y'all know your girl would change her hair for no reason at any time. <laughs> so, yes, this is what I am working with. These are called my fluffy lilas. They are available for purchase, okay? So with that being said, I, I do want to give y'all a heads up. This is not necessarily a tutorial on how to make these because I am transitioning in from all micro locks to hopefully making and installing these, more so making. I'm kind of slowing down on the installs because that's a whole other story. So I can't give y'all all of the tea on how I make these because now this is going to be like my main income and I need a little bit of secretness so that I can have a little bit of a competitive edge. Um, so yes, these are my fluffy vlogs. They are available for purchase. If So this video is mainly for people who would like to purchase it or if you just want to be, um, wants a look at the extensions. If you are looking to purchase these from me, these are like the 12 inches. They are pretty long for 12 inches, but I don't include the curly ends in my measurements. So all of the lock part is um, what I measure. And this is how they look. I love them. They are super freaking flexible, soft, lightweight, like, girl, what other lock extensions you know do that? Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, the inspiration for this look, I wanted something messy, super like boho, um, kinky though, but just super carefree, lightweight, and I feel like I achieved that with these. Um, I wanted the Lisa Bonet, but for the four type four girls, you know what I'm saying? Like, we ain't all got that super wavy, slick hair. Some of us got that kinky hair, but we, I still wanted that look. So let me give y'all the close-up. Um, This is what I came up with, y'all. I'm in love, I'm in love, I'm in love. Let me show y'all the back. Alright. So this is where it stops. Bra strap melts if bra strap melts if you're including the um curls, which I think this is like a perfect melt for like, you know, styling is super easy if you want to put up in a ponytail girl, you can do that. Let's do that. It's so lightweight, y'all. Like, this feels like nothing is on my head, okay? And look, we don't even need no headbands. I'm just gonna tie the hair up on this so. And baby, we got a messy pony, okay? Oh, man. Girl. Who that? <laughs> Who that? Who that? Ooh, this is a look, okay? <sighs> so, um, details. I'm not gonna show y'all how I make these because I need a little bit, a, a little tea to myself, but because y'all my lock love crew, and I do love y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all what hair I use. Ah, uh, uh, I'm gonna give y'all a little tea, okay? So I actually used the Janet Collection Afro Kinky Bulk Hair. Y'all, I never would have thought that this hair would have gave me this texture. 
okay like i would have never thought um i personally use the color number two i usually use color one or one b um but i was actually gifted this hair from one of my super awesome clients deborah thank you girl like you just you just you just started a whole trend okay um i was gifted this from her and she gave me color number two and she gave me the 14 inches so y'all can clearly see where my hair is in this but it's okay it's okay i also um had to buy more hair and i ended up getting the 18 inches um so i used a combination between 14 and 18 inches to make this which gave me the like 12 inches um locks so let me this ponytail is cute okay ah, it's so fun but let me take this down and um if you purchase from me you can actually get use this as a temporary install and you know take the hair out wash it keep it put it back in which is probably something that i would do because i changed my hair so much so this don't have to be permanent. I actually installed it with a temporary mindset. So let me show y'all how I actually installed it. Let me first show y'all how easy it is to take it out, okay? So my temporary girls, look. If you do it my exact way, this is gonna be how easy it is to take it out. You find your hair, which, you see my hair is like right here, wrapped up. You find it, girl, you unbraid it. And I'm gonna leave this real time speed because I, I want y'all to see how easy it is to take it out and put it in. And yes, ma'am. Literally just unbraiding it and boom. Baby, what? That was like, <laughs> 30 seconds, okay? And I'm gonna show y'all how easy it is to take it out. But before I show y'all how I put it in, I do wanna say, I took out my micro locks, my hair was a hot mess. And then I went and got my hair cooled by my friend Kaya, she is a loctician here in Stockbridge. We, um, we work together a lot. And so I had her cool my hair up and that is what I'm working with. And I wanted to keep the coils pretty much intact. I will say, you will see the sizing of my coils. I did end up combining the majority of them because this hair was starting to get really big and I didn't want too much hair. Um, so now I'm working with coiled hair. You don't have to. But what I did was I actually um, like braided the coil. So I left, I left the roots cool, right? And then I split it up into three. One, two, three. And I just did like a plait. And this is just to help keep the extension in. So this is really good for my temporary girls, but also if you want to keep it in permanently, you can do the same exact method. Um, so what I'm gonna do is take the end, which I think is here, and I'm gonna crochet it into my little coil. And I'm kind of bringing down, this is like where the lock started. I'm kind of splitting it in between where it begins and where it stops. And I'm literally just gonna braid this in. And the reason why I bring this part down is to keep it flat. But yeah, I'm gonna braid this in. Du, 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 du. Real time, nothing sped up. And when I get to the end of my braid, either I'm gonna have my hair left or the extension hair, the extra hair like this. I don't know if that's the extension hair or my hair. I'm literally just gonna wrap it around this lock. And boom, baby. You can see the braid. Yes! <laughs> Super easy to put these in, I swear. 
And I like the coiled look. So I'm just gonna kind of coil it back how I had it. And that's it. So if you want to do this permanently, you can do it that same exact way. Just don't take it out, let your hair lock up. Or you can also take some extra bulk hair and just wrap it around the braid like really, really loosely and like crochet it in. If you watch, if you're familiar with Napstar, she does that. So yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I thought the color difference between my hair and this hair would bother me. Like, look at my look cool. <laughs> I thought it was gonna bother me, but it don't. Like I was going to wrap it to hide the braid, but with this being such a messy look in general, like it doesn't bother me. It doesn't. But y'all know, once something bothers me, I end up taking it all out. So <laughs> um, if I do take these out, like I'm keeping these, I'm gonna put them back in. Like, eh. so yeah. This is human hair. You can wash it, you can dye it, you can style it. I'm pretty sure I could put curls in these. I know I could put curls in these. I just don't know how they would look, but I can do exactly what other people do with their lock extensions. And yeah, like I can sleep at night because these, these are lightweight. These are painless. These are soft, like, uh, like stiff web. Not here. <laughs> so, I hope y'all enjoyed this video and this first look at my fluffy lilacs. And I gave y'all a little bit of tea on what kind of hair it is. Y'all can take that and run with it, but that's all y'all gonna get, okay? Again, if you're interested in purchasing, this would be the look that you would get for the 12 inches. More than likely, I will probably have just one B hair, and then you can make that whatever color that you want it to be. But if this blows up, I will have multiple colors, okay? Y'all help me blow this up. Purchase from me and blow this up, okay? Let me just do another quick spin around. Um, and another quick spin around, okay? Let me give y'all a quick texture shot. Y'all can't tell me these don't look good. I'm super curious to see how these curls will do. These curls will do um, after like a few months. I'm curious to see if they will lock up or if they're gonna stay the same. I will give y'all updates as much as I can, but your girl is quick to take something out. So right now I'm in love and I hope y'all love me. Drop down questions in the comments and I will see y'all in the next video.